mean, she was here last time. She, she has been in that chair before. Yeah, okay. Then no trap door on that one. Yeah. No. We're still good. Uh, so, yeah, we're just here to give you a kind of an update, um, State of the Union on your health plan. And I uh, know it's been well overdue. We've been in the health partner season. Yes, there, I'm here. I'm here. Are. I'm here. She's on the other side here. I know. Right? Well, <laughs> there was. I just figured I'd sit over here. There's a little more room. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll put you on the spot then. If okay. It's going pretty well, and people are much better. Land. Much better. Much better. Doing really well. I, I don't have. Uh, I don't. The only thing, you know, I, I just have one complaint. That's because I can't access stuff. Yeah, and that's. And that's a problem. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But it's still hard for well, me. Well, we can a help you access things when you call us. Oh, I know. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. I was going to say, did they get all the reports then that we sent over like last week? I, we did, but I think there's still something missing, and she emailed me back, so I sent it to Lacey, and then uh, Lacey said, what does she want? So then I sent that back to Amy, <laughs> and so I'm waiting on that, but I think the 509 is almost done. So. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's so. the, the filing. Yep. Yeah. That's not a health partners issue, though. No, it's no, not. Okay. But, but yeah. <laughs> health partners, um, no, they're they're fine. Um, there's a problem with the website right now, downloading reports for some reason. I can't get my reports to download to where I can see my weekly reports. But I mean, I don't have anything bad to say about health partners at all. Great. Anybody else doing okay with that so far? Yeah, I haven't heard any complaints. So. Yeah. That's why they open up the floor to ask any questions, yeah. and making sure we're running well. So last year when you went with them, um, you're in your second year now, so it'll be a year and a half ago. They offered you a, a two-year program, mm -hmm. and so I think that that was really beneficial to you, as Joseph's going to point out, uh, from the claims information that you have in history on your plan last year was a, it was a big year. And so uh, had you been on a Person, but I would say that it probably would have been a significant increase for you. So I, it, was a, it was a wise decision. Um, you can't predict the future, right? Uh, it depends on how you use it. So the, the rates weren't that much, they weren't that high, though. It was, seemed like it was certainly a good thing to do. It was a great thing to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are we going to pay the price over here? Well, you're calming down quite a bit. So stop loss, as we well know, is that catastrophic. So anything over fifty thousand um, dollars, then that's when the insurance is going to take care of the claim and make sure you're not having to hear any of those bills. It's at up to fifty thousand. You had quite a few claims up to fifty thousand. So the stop loss underwriters. The long answer is is that two things. One, stop loss is in the volatile marketplace, kind of like the commercial property world where we're seeing lots of catastrophic claims coming out of COVID and all those things. So you'll be part of the pooling of that. They'll also look at your experience to see if you're in a recovery mode. Uh, I believe that you are. I think the claims are down a little bit here this year. We started off, but as I've said over and over, three months does not make a year. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, you've got your fixed cost, which is just to have an ID card. The administration, you're paying that no matter what. You're paying for your stop loss insurance, that's what your insurance. You're paying for the administration side of the plan, period. So nobody has a claim. rest of those dollars are your dollars. They're just self-funded. You are the insurance company at the end of the day. So when you look at a stop loss increase, don't look at it as though it's going to be a huge increase over the rest of your plan because most of your costs, 85% of them, are your own dollars now. So if you have a long answer, insurance can be that way. It's a little complex. Um, but if I'm looking at your plan, I, I don't believe that you'll have an aggregate increase. Good. You'll have a, that fixed Naturally, we'll go out to the marketplace. Uh, you're on a non-grandfathered health plan, so that makes underwriting a little bit easier out there when you're on grandfathered. You had a grandfathered plan for 15 years, which is unheard of, or 13 years. Um, so that will help us um, look at the marketplace. However, Health Partners, I believe, is a good partner. They will offer you another two-year plan, which is, you don't see this. 
As much as you want to see me all the time. I would love to see right, you. Right, right. It's like nice to see us and just say you're good for another year, right? But like, like all our things do. That's yeah, right. right. Exactly. So with that, we're just going to go through some of your experience. And I mean, we <coughs> did the check-in to make sure things are, are running okay. Certainly, we want to take your questions. And so with that, believe it or not, I'm going to kind of sit back and have Josie talk about what's happening with your health plan year to date. We also have some historical data so you can take a look at what's happened in the previous years. Yeah. I was going to say, so like Skip said, that at first this is going to show you the experience of the two year, uh, two months of July and August, but in the back it has the full year. And so if you want to see a more realistic view, like we said, three months looking like a year. And I actually did print off up until September before I came just to make, there was a, make sure there wasn't anything huge this past month that... Um, wasn't showing you that actually was happening. So just page three and four are just showing you your first two months here um, of your plan. Like Skip said that you are calming down just a little bit from last year. As you can see, the first quarter you had 418, it's down to 391 for your totals. And I'm gonna follow along here with my three months. forward to the benchmarking of the 18 months like we said that an underwriter doesn't ever look back just 12 months they do look back to more of an 18 month schedule um, just a full-on look of where you where you were so like that going back to that 156 on the monthly average per quarter into the 171 is obviously an increase but um, it's easier to look back at an 18 month to get a real view of what's going on versus in the past 12 months everyone knows that you can have a good year but to have more than a good year is a true representation Also provides economic development for your community. And people are like, well, how, how so? Well, when people are paying a lower out of pocket expense as compared to a lot of other employers, and those are dollars that are staying in the county or staying in the community. And so one could argue, yes, the costs are higher than you see in the national side of things. However, you also provide an outstanding benefit with such a high value to your employees. So you have to balance it. It is an, it is an investment in your forward uh, page eight and nine so eight is just breaking out your medical and your pharmacy so you're wanting that line to stay obviously more linear um, and it so it, those are actually looking just fine for that's just breaking out the previous page instead of showing the total and then it's just going to show your IRA calculation like we said you're on the two year so this is your second year um, if it would have just been a one year you would have hit your ag I believe from last year close to close to Now you're back down to 91. So like I said, that's a good choice. It's kind of the trend of the conversation is that it's a good choice for you to do your contract. And then this is your large claims. Um, page 10. Page 10, yep. Obviously you've been pretty low right now. Um, and I did look into September, you have one hit over 50,000. Um, but it was, did not look like something that was going to be crazy. So stay back. <laughs> Call the bad back. But in any view, <laughs> <laughs> right? that happens less. Honestly, 
honestly, if you go down over to the number of claims, though, you'll see that last year you were at 22 large claims. So. And you're at two this year. Yeah. 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 looking at this too as the Right, and 13 of those large claims were above your 50,000. And then on page 11, they're kind of showing you where some of the dollars are going. Nothing you know, scares me at this point. But a few things in there. Well, these ones look pretty good, but I'm going to actually skip forward to page 14. That's where your pharmacy analysis is. And to kind of show like where your prescription drugs are being used and what um, heavy loaded specialty drugs are be, being used to affect your plan. Um, and you do have a few specialty drugs on your plan, but it's actually better than what we've seen in other um, groups. And then we did look up the Indrezza, and that is a mental, so depression, anxiety, and schizophrenia. It's a very um, common yep. used medication that's now with, you know, you see the star by it, it's a high cost medication, but it's, you know, it's, it's a life limiting medication. You know this is Zembe? Does anyone know the song? Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well See, versed in his <laughs> Well, it's it's, it's a very commonly prescribed medication now for weight loss. Mm -hmm. Do that. Um, we just met with the group air size last week. They had seventy one of those medications. So um, I'm looking at yours. You have seven. I'm going to just say that you're probably the people that are taking fifty eight as opposed to people that are getting off label. Mm -hmm. And so the insurance uh, pharmacy benefit managers are really looking at this. As a self funded employer, I don't see the abuse here, um, but there are calls out there uh, from some insurance companies and pharmacy benefit managers to say the millennials are folks that have diabetes, but I think everything's coming together for you right now. There's no abuse there. This is actually the best of Zenith report I have with all my groups. Yeah. So, that's good here. Yeah. I think that might be a, eventually a, a nationwide thing. I want plans are going to stop letting those people. It's happening right everywhere. Correct. Mm -hmm. Study, they said it was 10% of the Medicare population was prescribed as that. It's 10%. It was across the Medicare government side of it. $52 billion a year. Mm -hmm. So um, they want to nip it in the they If they open it up to the market, <coughs> everyone's going to use it, that it would, the healthcare costs would go up 50% this year. So mm -hmm. does it work? Listen, the jury's out. Yeah, we, don't really, we don't really know yet. Um, there's some class action lawsuits happening now with those end because people are having issues with their gastrointestinal questions. So it'll be interesting. Does anyone remember Spend Fan? That was a miracle drug. Mm -hmm. It was on the market for about two and a half years. So we're just watching it. But I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Didn't mean to interrupt you there. No, you're good. I was just going to say that most of the groups that we're seeing on a national average, that their percent of scripts for specialty is like 2%, and then their paid claims is. Much high. I mean, it's a ninety percent of paid claims, and so yours is much more balanced out for your specialty drugs versus your non-specialty physician. Page fifteen is uh, just a reminder of how generous you are as an employer. Um, you can take a look at what we've done. We benchmarked you against what <coughs> private sector uh, nationally in Iowa, and we showed you uh, what the public sector looks like. So, lower deductibles, lower out of pocket. Like your drug card because people are having to pay the cost of that medication, so you're leveraging the plan there. So um, you, you can, you've got the best benefits out there. And then the next page is showing you just benchmarking the, what the costs are for employees as compared to other public administration. So, as I said, you've got better benefits, your costs, most of you are on families, um, average cost for. So uh, 17 just shows you where you're at um, on your budgeting. You're about 97%. So let's keep it, let's keep improving on that, please. Uh, but it's not the large claims that are hitting your plan. It's just it's just some utilization of how intensely you do this. So. And it's 
the historical yeah. cost. You have to make sure that everybody's yes, you know what what the expected is. So you're funding you're funding well. And then in the back, that's your full year, which I don't see. Well, that's just a year in review, just to show you where you ended up. If you do skip forward to the very last page, that's where your large claims is at, and I feel like that tells you most of the story from my experience. Yeah. But if you were curious to see what your high cost claims were, and if they might still be around or not. Sometimes I feel like I pull a string out of my neck, you know, like the puppets we used to have as a kid, Charlie McCarthy. And, um, you know, I was going to go on college vacation, and there's not a whole lot I can do. Uh, but I will say that Tammy did show up to a conference that we held over in Cedar Rapids, I want to say it was six to eight weeks ago. And uh, there is a new story being told in healthcare, which I will unveil later. But um, there's some, some really um, incredible like minded people out there that are looking at the status quo insurance plans that are out there and getting very creative. And what I mean by that is um, we've hitched our wagon to a couple of really top-notch vendors that are out there, one of them being called the Kempton Group. Uh, Kempton was started in 1967 by a gentleman by the name of uh, Jay Kempton and was later sold to a physician. And his name is Dr. Keith Smith. Also, taking a look at you know, how does this healthcare world work in terms of cost, confusing, complex. And so he started posting list prices, cash prices on his website about 11 years ago. And then he opened up a company called Coral to bear with me. <coughs> Coral is a platform that many um, physicians and like minded advisors such as myself have been plugging into. And so we launched Coral here in the state of Iowa um, last year. Surgeon, so if you have hernia tear, that's one thing. If you have uh, a cyst that has to be removed, so general surgery, right? Um, so they're out of Des Moines, and then we also have Des Moines Orthopedic Surgery uh, surgeons, <coughs> a DMOS, they're a blue chip provider. And so what that means is, is that we we basically bolt on these solutions to existing health plans, so we can provide you access to all your doctors that you have now, because we're not going to tell you where to go. But imagine if you get a phone call. I'm used to it. Okay. <laughs> so, Kurt, a nurse navigator calls you from our organization, from Kempton Group, and says, Hey, Kurt, so you have your new knee replaced. And you're like, Well, that's right. And I'm going to have it done at Liberty Point in Cedar Rapids. That's great. That's your choice. But did you know that we can go ahead and have you do, have that same surgery done at Des Moines Orthopedic Surgeon for zero dollars? And I got to tell you, this hurts your doctor. So we have 7,500 providers across the country that are doing what we call bundle pricing, where a member, a patient pays zero at their choice. And you might have a spinal situation, and you're gonna get a call from Coral, and they say, hey, Kurt, how about you and your significant other? We put you on an airplane in Des Moines Airport. We'll come pick you up at your house. We'll fly you out there to do your four-day expenses at the hotel. Uh, we'll get your food and transportation all taken care of for zero dollars. Your choice. And you can say, you know, Kip, thanks for the offer, but Josie's my orthopedic surgeon, and I really trust her to do what I need to do. And plus, she's my sister-in-law, and I don't want to talk to a Christmas kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I got a new knee <coughs> in Des Moines. So those are the kinds of conversations we're having. That's just one of many. And we have seven layers of our cake. And so we do durable medical equipment, sleep apnea. That machine costs about $1,200. We can get it shipped to your front door for zero about the surgical markets. We have diet boxes, diabetic supplies, and actually test strips, meters, zero dollars. Uh, we work with Quest Labs out of Des Moines. Tell your doctor, look, I'd like to have my labs done in Des Moines, Quest, zero dollars. People remember zero, right? Yeah. I can ask everybody in this room, everyone's got insurance, I got hundred dollars in my pocket, uh, I'll bet on this, that no one knows what their out-of-pocket maximum is on the health plan. You guys can't stand I know I don't count. I know. <laughs> we made up our own language in the insurance business, didn't we? We pay copay for your donut this morning or your deductible. Right? 
So we have seven options for members now to go to zero. And the low-hanging fruit, my favorite one is Humira, commonly prescribed medication. We can have that shipped to your front door from Canada. In your health plan, Stellar is the same thing. Embel, that's costing your plan $6,800 a month. So imagine we can go ahead and take that down to $2,500 for that same drug. That's $54,000. That's a job that stays in Tame County. Compared to how much you're going to pay for your Embel. Under our program. Zero. Zero. <laughs> we remember zero, don't we? Now, if you don't want it that way, that's fine. Because it's coming from the same manufacturer. Just so you know. It's FDA approved. Why do we pay 16 times more than other industrialized nations? Sounds good. Our substance use is changing. This is changing. Mm -hmm. These are the things that we're doing in deploying. And don't worry, we're not so smart that Rosie and I made this up. We're not going to experiment on this is happening in the city since the man was doing this, Rosie Martel was doing this. We have 2,000 employers that have, have deployed these strategies within their health plan now. And they're bolt-ons. They're not requirements. It's your choice. We don't want to tell you where to go. We want you to go to the doctor. We want you to go to your primary care doctor, specialist, because we dismantled our primary care. Is Dr. Willie still in town? Yep. You all know the small town doctor story, right? Mm -hmm. Every town had one. <coughs> best part for the doctors, they love this program because they know how to get out of the account for Susan, but most of us have a $5,000 deductible. You walk into the hospital having a baby, exciting time in your life, you're going to say, hey, how would you like to pay for that baby? <laughs> Not me. Who needs it? <laughs> would you like to talk to Jim, our financial planner? They have him at the hospitals now. They're stationed, waiting to go. You're going to amortize your deductible and out-of-pocket. We're functionally uninsured in this country, and so that's the things that we're going to be deploying and talking about. Now, they have to show up to the calculator. Our underwriters do. But when we talk to you next year, that's what we're going to talk to you about. We're going to talk about these new ways, these new strategies that are happening. And uh, we have 35 companies in Iowa that are doing this now. No public companies yet. Public institutions, but we're, we're, we will get there. Sounds very promising. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. much better than, you know, Yeah, the string of the back. It was interesting. <laughs> I'll say when we went, when I went to... Uh, the meeting, it was pretty informational. There's a lot of stuff going on that you wouldn't even think was going on. The medication was a big issue yep. because of the cost. And um, I think they talked about buying through a different country than, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. International. Yeah. Sourcing. And outsourcing it. And how, how could that be? The same medication that we're buying coming into the U.S., we can buy from a specific country at discounted price. Yeah. The exact same medication. Yeah. But they don't want you to define that. No, they don't. They don't. And and mm -hmm. that's part of some of the change that hopefully we get to be it's part of. So I do have to ask you if I'm on right. Sensitive diagnosis, is that? We, we, yeah, that could be. Um, I could ask. Under the immunity. Okay. Any other differences? I was just, uh, that's, a, that's a big difference. In the, in the deal there, I just... And I can know. ask and I would rather just give it to Tammy and let you guys yeah. know. Yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's some mercenary pricing happening in the, in the drug market. I spent a semester of my life at the University of Kentucky Pharmacy School, so I know a little bit of Willie's history there. I'm going to read the syllabus a little bit. I'm the University of Kentucky. Right. <laughs> nice part of the country. Anyway, the point being is, like-minded, <laughs> transparency, Knowing the contracts and knowing all those things go in, and I'm not saying that you know we all need to be better patients at the same time. There's all that that plays into this, but there are definitely some avenues that we want to explore. Oh, and I think it's most important to point out our pharmacy benefit manager who was there speaking was Vivian, yes, yes, who is owned by Heidi. <laughs> they were in a very powerful position. They have a lot yeah. of pharmacies and pharmacists yeah. on staff, and they started looking at the numbers, going, "How is it that you're charging our health plan, who we have, to a large insurance company?" based in Des Moines, and you're charging our health plan so much more than what we're getting paid as pharmacists. And so they launched their own pharmacy benefit manager, and so they work in conjunction with their script source. And so it's a high V program that we're talking about. So we're not going out to, you know, Jimmy's happy, you know, van of, of medications here. This is coming from Vancouver. Yeah, and, okay. So 
So we'll look at it. We're gonna see what we can do. And everyone's gonna remember zero of us more dollars in our community. It's community and health plan is what it is. And so you guys become the anchor because we can write down the five companies. Walmart's been doing this for years, so is Caterpillar, Boeing. They've gone in and said, this sending you a pile of money, not more as well, it's not working for me. And they, they negotiate their own deals. And so that's what we're bringing into the small marketplace. That's great. Very good. That's great. Keep you posted. Always nice Keep to up see the you. good work. Yes, great to see you. Thanks for your added time. <laughs> I'll work on being funny next time, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask you, Union football. Yeah. I asked Jody what that no. the highest I asked this was. Time. I'll, I'll okay. forward it to you. You're in Port City. Back. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just came yeah. off the top of my head. I don't <laughs> <need that. laughs> Excuse me. That's okay. You know, and I I know probably what they are, but I've been, I've been yeah, going to, I'm pretty sure. I also coach wrestling. Oh, I got to go just because I've been now doing it long enough. enough. That's oh, official. Sure. We got yeah. to work. Gotcha. Yep. Now I, I'm getting yelled at. Um. Yes. I need Dan. to give you this. Head now. You got him signed. He's big farming. He's farming. I see you. He's farming. He's farming. He's farming. Oh, yeah. It's one of those guys. Yeah. Or is that you? Yeah. I yeah. did. Yeah. Uh, my wife did go to the cataract surgery. Take her home. Yeah. Because it will not be in the union contract. No, 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 no. 
Yeah. That way, if we yeah. want to do it, yeah. 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 So, okay. Okay. Sounds good. She, I, I, I told Laura. What all that's true. That's means well. I think so. Too. Good premise. Well, try and keep good and Have a good week, guys. Okay, see you later. later. Dan, or, hey, or, did you? Laura, did you um, want a copy of this? I need to. A copy of what? Wrong. Wrong one. Sorry. Okay, I was like, <laughs> copy of what? <laughs> okay.